Hi everybody, Geeky Time Gone, welcome back to a new video. Today we have this wreath that I got from Goodwill for $2.99. And it looks a little plain, I mean it is flashy, but it's a little plain. And we're going to add some stuff to it and dress it up for winter, since it's like blue and silver, like a winter theme. Um, I'm going to make these little stars Um, I cut out um, some stars. I did some little blue ones, kind of like a reflective. And then I did some little bigger ones that are like um, blue glitter. And then I did some bigger ones that are like a uh, light blue, almost like a teal color. And then I did some holographic bigger ones. And then I did the same size in a cardboard to make them like stiff and, and thick. And then I put them all together and I get this. We're going to put these on. I did six stars, so I'm going to show you how to put those together. Um, I cut them out on my die cutting machine. And we're going to put um, some stars on it. I think that will look pretty. Um, then I have this stuff that we got from Oriental Trading Company Incorporated. It is a silver pom-pom tinsel wig. I'm not going to take it out of here because it's going to get all over the place and I won't be able to get it back in bags. We'll take it out when time comes. But I thought maybe I would be able to somehow incorporate this to the bottom of the thing and have them string down like, like a rain, like stream down. I thought that that would look kind of pretty maybe. Um, we'll do some other things to it. We'll just decide as we get to it. And we'll um, get to it when we get to it. So right now I'm going to take you down here and show you what I'm doing with these stars. Let me get my keyboard out of the way. Let me show you what I'm doing with these stars. Um, I have three already made. And I'm making six. So these are what they look like. Very pretty. So I'm just taking a glue gun. And I'm taking the cardboard and I'm putting some glue to the edges of the cardboard and a little bit in the middle. And then I'm taking the holographic star, putting it right on top. Pushing it down. Then I'm taking the next star up. Putting some glue to the edges, some in the middle, and centering it on. Take the next star down, same thing, centering it on, and taking the last star. Same thing, and centering it on. And there you have the star. So we'll just do that to the last two as well. the last star
There we go. Now we have all six of our stars done. We're going to set those aside. Oh, I also wanted to put um, this little gemstone. I have this little gemstone. I wanted to put it in the center. Forgot about the little gemstone I'm going to put in the center. There we go. I'm going to put that gemstone in the middle. I thought that that really set it off really pretty. And it goes with the holographic um, outside of the star. So there we go. Now we have those. I'm going to set those stars aside. I think that looks really pretty. That's really pretty. Okay. And we'll just put some glue in the back of those. And we will um, put those onto the wreath maybe. I think that's really pretty. Okay, let's see this uh, weight thing here. See what we might be able to do with it. It is indeed a wig. It has this meshing on the inside. Hmm. What can we do with it? It has these scripts. Maybe we could cut the meshing out. Here we go. If it's right here's where it starts. here. Trying not to cut the tinsel. And it's in like a strip form. around in this meshing that fits on your head. But we're going to get it into like a strip form. top part here where it's all just kind of bunched in. I think we're just going to have to just cut this top part off. Now yeah, it's all just bunched into a bunch. We're just going to have to cut it off. It's just in this, this big bunch right here. I think we're just going to have to disregard that. We got everything else in pretty much a strip. So let's shake it a little bit and get the, the strays out. Gather up the strays off the desk. 
and I think on the bottom part of the wreath, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this all on camera or not. Probably not going to do a very good job of getting this all on camera. But we're just going to take the strap and we're going to glue it to the bottom here. It's not very long. I figured it would be a lot longer. Here we're getting into the longer stretches. I think we're gonna. I think we're just gonna take a section of it here and gonna glue it to the ring on the bottom here. Just gonna glue it on. Just glue it on. how well you're going to get this on camera, but we're just gluing it on to the bottom of the ring. From the halfway point on one side to the halfway point on the other side, so like a half the circle is like going to get glued on. Then we're going to turn it around and we're going to come back and glue another layer on. I'm getting the tinsel all glued in. I'm just going to glue this, this edging here. little pieces of other stuff that we cut off in the beginning. looks pretty. It doesn't hang down quite as far as I wanted it to. I wanted it to hang down a lot further. Kind of just untangle it a little bit. I think that looks pretty how it hangs. Looks very pretty. Gives a little bit of a skirting. That looks pretty. Now we'll glue these stars on. The 
one at the top. One at the bottom. And two at each side. Put you up here, maybe you can see it a little bit better if I pull it up here. Here. We'll take a piece of white ribbon. A piece of white ribbon here, right here. I'm going to thread it through the top for a hanger. Double on it, cut off the extra, there we go. I think that looks very pretty. Got the tinsel hanging down. I think that's very pretty. Better than just the plain it was. Maybe you want to put a sign in the middle or a bow or something. Maybe a big bow or something. I don't have any ribbon that's blue, so I can't put a bow on it. But maybe a big bow at the bottom or the side or something over here might work. Or over here, there's a little space over here you can put a bow or something. But I think that looks very pretty. What do you think, folks? I think it's pretty. So there you go. That was the tutorial for today, ladies and gentlemen. Just prettied up a, a little wreath that we got from the Goodwill and made it special. So if you see a wreath that looks kind of plain from the Dollar Tree or the Dollar Store or Goodwill or a thrift store, go ahead and pick it up and you can make it pretty at home. Put some extras to it and there you go. You have a pretty little decoration. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Things you can do. Have a nice day. Take care of yourselves. Catch you on the flip side. And hey, while you're already here, why not subscribe to the channel? Leave a comment down below and let me know how the channel's doing. Leave ideas for new crafty projects we can complete on the channel together. And I'm always open to constructive criticism. I'm always looking for ways to improve the channel, make it more fun, interesting, and entertaining for everybody. Click the like button below. That really helps my channel to grow and reach more audiences here on YouTube. Share the video on social media such as Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And click the notification bell below and select all so you know when I put out a video or go live. I want to thank each and every one of you for your overwhelming support. It means so much to me. Um, I love doing videos for you guys and spending time with everybody. I consider you my extended family. And with all that being said, thank you so very much. You have a great day. Take care of yourselves. We'll catch you on the flip side.